What's up? What's up? Quick, uh, quick update on, well, just me. Um, it's uh, February seventh, and it's my first day in the uh, Weymouth, uh, in this Weymouth sit here. I'll, I'll show you the place. It's quirky, quirky kind of place, but it's it's nice. It's right out, right on the marsh. It's, uh, you know, you might think it was pretty secluded, but it's in a pretty, um, what do you call it? Uh, dense neighborhood. There's a lot of houses close by, but it's quiet. It was dark and it was quiet here last night. So that's all I really, that's all I'm really looking for. Anyway, um, I've got, uh, I've got another, I've got this place for two weeks and then, um, I've got a place in Linfield, Massachusetts for a week. And then I just got off the phone with a couple of folks, uh, in, Northern Maine, believe it or not, uh, they're only about an hour from where I'm going to be moving, um, where I was planning to move next month. So I thought, you know, maybe maybe it would be a good idea to uh, to take a take the sit uh, there, and uh, maybe just kind of get my bearings of the area, meet a few people, build a little community, uh, tell people what I'm up to, maybe find a truck, maybe I can help me, maybe it would help me find some work. Um, you know, and I, it hasn't been confirmed yet, so I don't know that I'm going to get that particular uh, house sit. Um, but, the, you know, that's fine. Um, they said they were, they had an, uh, a couple that they were talking to. And, um, you know, I, I imagine they'll likely go with the couple. But who knows? I mean, they might, they might just like me more. You, you never know. Um, but it would be really cool. It seems more than coincidental, all of the things that we had in common. And then... The fact that they're just north of Ellsworth a little bit, uh, I thought that was pretty cool. So, um, I uh, I just I started going through some old documents um, from when Annette and I were trying to build a um, you know our like online project and, and stuff and, and throwing out some of the things that we did and kind of keeping some of the stuff that still makes sense and, and one of those was a list of things that I was committed to doing uh, daily. And one of those things is to write and to make a video. And so it said to write 200 words a day and to uh, make um, a two minute video daily. So, you know what, I'm gonna, this one's almost three minutes already. It was easy. I'm getting used to being on this camera and uh, it's pretty cool. So um, maybe if I, if I just do these little short little things and I don't even have to edit them and I, I can just move them off the, off the camera and practice putting them, uploading them to YouTube, and um, so I can have just like a, like a sort of a just a video journal. That'd be a fun thing to do. Um, as far as the the cabin goes, um, I talked to the folks in Maine, and they said that you know um, the regulations and the regulators are beginning to creep north. Um, you know, from Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and he said, "So if you're going to build, build now." And so I'm, I'm, you know, I think it's, I think that's good advice. I think it's sound advice. I'm going to go up and and, uh, and start building um, yeah, very soon. I found, I found some tools. I found a great tool shop in Lynn at the last house that I was at. It's called uh, All Lynn Linway Tools, and uh, I got some great hand tools for um, for doing a cabin. Cheap money too good quality also and the guy was really cool um anyway that's it i'm just gonna do a brain dump like this and this one's gonna be i think this one's long you know i'm not gonna i'm not even gonna do them this long uh going to pick up my friend from the airport and then i gotta go check on some things for my sister and kenny and um yeah cool later